Hi guys and welcome to this last lesson in modes for now, okay? Modes is a long study and something that really the difficulty is not in the, the understanding of the theory, at least I don't think so, um, the difficulty is the application, okay? So that's something that's, that's in the actual guitar lesson section, not in theory lab. So what we're going to be doing today is grouping the minor modes and then kind of singling out this diminished mode. Okay, so last time we looked at the major modes as we group them together. Okay, now when it comes to minor modes, okay, we're kind of looking at the three modes Dorian, Phrygian, and Aeolian. Okay, the Dorian is on the second degree, the Phrygian is on the third, and the Aeolian is on the sixth degree. Okay, now importantly, we know the Aeolian to be the natural minor. Okay, we understand that as the natural minor. So that's the first one that's going to go on the board, the Aeolian. Okay, so if I just pop that one up there and we'll do it um, in the yellow and we'll go through the formula. So it will be root, second, flat third, fourth, fifth, flat six, and flat seven. Now, the reason I've put that one up first, the Aeolian up first, is because as we know it as the natural minor, we're very likely going to have used that a lot, probably, at this point, okay? So it's our kind of base for understanding the difference between the rest of the minor modes, okay? So then after that, I'm gonna put Dorian, okay? So I'm just gonna come down here and put the Dorian scale, okay? And again, I'm gonna do the full whack which is root, second, flat third, fourth, fifth, six, and flat seven, okay? And then I'm gonna put in the Phrygian, okay? So hopefully these um, scale uh, formulas oh, um, are remembered now, obviously I'm just doing this from memory. And the Phrygian looks like this, root, flat second, flat third, fourth, fifth, flat six, flat seven. Okay, right, so now let's work with what we've got then, okay? So, first things first, let's look at the relationship between the Dorian and the Aeolian. This is our base, okay? So we're not going to come back and look at it compared to the major scale. There's no need to, because we've already separated major and minor, so we might as well keep them separated, because that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. Now, what we're going to do is compare the Dorian to the Aeolian. So the only difference, the only difference is this six, okay? Instead of flattened, it's natural. It's the natural sixth, okay? So let's just talk about what that means. It means that essentially when I hit this note, I'm playing a minor scale, minor scale, just rocking out on the minor scale, and I hit the sixth, suddenly the sound is going to change, and it's going to change into a Dorian sound, okay? So again, you don't need to go crazy and, and go ahead and learn, you know, five, seven new scale shapes just for Dorian. All you need to know is the minor scale, which you probably already know, to be fair, and just realize where the flat six is and sharpen it to become a Dorian. And I would highly recommend that as a process because it means that you've done the work on the guitar theory-wise as well. Because it means that you know where the flat six is, so you're going to be able to target the six, the, the normal six, a lot quicker than if you just learnt the full scale shape. Because remember, if you just learn a seven note scale shape, there's six out of seven chances that you'll just hit the same notes as in the Aeolian. <clears throat> if you just simply learn where the change note is, there's one out of one chance that you will hit that note and change it, and it will sound immediately Dorian, okay? So here's your scenario, you know, you're playing over a D minor seventh chord, for example, and up to this point you've been playing just basically using the Aeolian scale. You know, you're in the key of D minor, you know, you're playing the D minor seven, I'm gonna use Aeolian. But this D minor seven is hanging around, okay, and it's, it's, it's just going off a bar after bar, what are you gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna mix it up a bit. I'm gonna bring in, the Dorian, okay? So I'm gonna target this six, and suddenly you change the vibe of that minor seventh chord, and it brings it into a whole new sound, and the audience are going, whoa, huh, what's going on here? This guy's got class, okay? <laughs> so that's the gist of it, that's how this is working. Um, and 
That's the only difference between Dorian and Aeolian, okay? So let's now talk Phrygian. So the difference between the Phrygian and the Aeolian is again, one note, and it's the flattened second, okay? So that's a pretty aggressive note, a flat second. So you've got a, a semitone between the root and the second note now, which, which is gonna sound really kind of quite dark, I would say, because um, you're creating a lot of tension between these two, okay? So, again, you know, you can go and you can bring this in in the same respect as we talked about with Dorian. So you can have the uh, D minor seven running and enjoying itself and whatever, and you've just soloed a little bit with the Aeolian and Dorian, and it's still going. So why not now, from your basic minor scale, target that second and flatten it. Suddenly you're gonna hear the key sound in Phrygian. Okay, you're gonna hear it and you're either gonna like it or probably quite hate it because it's so jarring suddenly. But if nothing else, it seriously wants to resolve to that one because it's so close to it, okay? That's gonna sound extremely resolved when you put a flat second next to it or before it, okay? So again, by relating the mode to the correct parent, as it were, so in my opinion, rather than relating Phrygian to Ionian, we relate Phrygian to the natural minor, you've got a usable version of the scale quickly, okay? And as a final point, your Locrian, remember, is a diminished mode. So it doesn't really group into the major or the minor, and it's not something I wanna go into in great detail at this point, it's more for the metal course, you know, when we get round to that, or maybe a more advanced jazz course, because it's diminished, it's hard to use in, in any you know, pop or rock or blues settings. So it's not something we need to go through. You just need to remember that it is still the seventh degree of the major scale and it's a diminished scale, okay? Or diminished mode. So hopefully guys, that's all making some sense to you. The main thing is that you group the major and relate the, the two um, Lydian and Mixolydian scales to the Ionian and you relate and you group the minor and relate the Dorian and Phrygian to the natural minor Aeolian scale, okay? So, I really hope that's helped a lot and you've start, started to get your head around the theory of this. Feel free to go around it as many times as you need because I know it can be a complicated subject, the modes, and, and it still is for a lot of players. So, I really hope that's helped and I'll see you next time.